Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the Pile PP555 Ultra Compact Phono Turntable Preamp. This is the 555, so that means it has a 9 volt battery option to it, and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So let's start unpacking it. The reason why you want a Phono Preamp is because you have an old turntable uh, that doesn't have line level output and you're having a problem hooking it up to your new system. Regardless if that system is a uh, home theater system or just an audio receiver, maybe you just want to plug it in some uh, powered bookshelf monitors. I mean, that could be as simple as that. It may also be getting plugged into a powered speaker that you have. If you're plugging into a mixer or controller, that's the kind of thing that you have to think about. Now, this is a problem that people have with older turntables, not with new turntables. New turntables normally have one of these built in with a switch and you don't have to worry about it. The type of person who's gonna to wanna to buy a PP555 is for somebody who's looking for a portable preamp. So if you're a DJ, this would be a pretty handy thing to have. Uh, if you move your equipment around a lot, again, this is an important thing to have. Or if you're really stuck and you cannot accommodate this AC power adapter. Because, uh, I mean, you, do, you can either run it off this power supply and just leave it plugged in all the time, or you can simply install a nine volt battery right in here. To do that, there are three screws, but I think we only need to take this one off here. So in here we are, screw's been removed, left the other two screws on the outside, we don't need it. We do have to kind of finagle and get this little door to pop off, there it is. And then magically hiding inside is a plug for a nine volt battery. So now we take the nine volt battery, put this on here, just like this. Now, remember, you don't have to use it. Again, the AC adapter will do just fine. And you're buying this particular unit because you want the benefits of everything in the other two models. So depending on the price point, you may decide to just buy this one simply because of the price. Um, there's a PP444 and a PP999. Then there's this one, the 555. It incorporates the filters of the 555 and all the extra options like the quarter inch output of the 444. And you also get the nine volt battery option on top of it. And remember, that's an option. You don't have to run it. You might decide to put it in there see if it's any different, but I don't think it's gonna make any world of difference, except for the fact that I now no longer need a battery. And that's to give you an idea how little power is being consumed by this AC adapter. This thing will stay on permanently for like ever running off of that little nine volts, kind of like, you know, a clock radio in that sense, I guess, uh, doing its job, ready to turn on whenever you want. And as long as the battery's good, the light will be on and it'll just do its job. Now to hook it up, all you gotta do Plug your turntable into the line in right here. That line in will allow the actual turntable to get amplified and come back out through the line out. So, and the only other thing you may need, depending on the type of turntable you have, if there's a loose wire with your turntable, or maybe you hear a grounding or humming sound uh, when you plug this all in, then you need to put the grounding wire on there. It'll be just a third loose wire. It gets on, wrap it around there. It's, you're not gonna get a shock. It's all, you know, just low voltage stuff. Tighten it back up and you're all set. That'll take care of that. It'll create a common ground between everything and it'll work properly. That's everything you really need to know. And again, for quality and performance, it'll be just like a preamp that was built in a turntable, similar brands of products that had this, let's say built into it back in the day with the same level of quality would have been brands like Sony, JVC, Kenwood, Techniques, Pioneer. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but Again, consumer products. If you have yourself a turntable that was $2,000 back in the day and you're plugging it into $5,000 speakers with a $2,000 amplifier, then yeah, you're gonna spend more money than this. But if you have a reasonably priced turntable and a reasonably priced home audio system, which is awesome, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that, this is a perfect fit. This makes the problem go away and you're gonna enjoy listening to your records. So that's the PP555. That's everything for this video. I hope it answered your questions. Maybe we'll see you in the next one. Like I say, thanks for watching and bye for now.